feeling lucky today? You should be, because your very existence is the result of a mind-boggling cosmic coincidence, one so improbable that it defies comprehension. Picture this. In a universe governed by the laws of physics, dark energy density should have been so high that stars, planets, and even atoms would have been torn apart, rendering life as we know it impossible. Yet here you are, against all odds. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. The actual density of dark energy is much lower than predicted, allowing the universe to coalesce into the marvel of existence we see today. Was this stroke of fortune truly a matter of chance? Or is there something more at play? Some suggest that this cosmic alignment hints at the existence of a higher power, a god or an advanced alien race with the ability to fine-tune the universe to perfection. Others turn to physics for answers, embracing the theory of multiverses. According to this idea, our universe is just one of many, each with its own unique set of physical laws and conditions. But what does your existence say about the existence of multiverses? Why do some physicists find this concept compelling? And what might these other universes look like? Join us as we delve into the mind-bending realm of multiverses, exploring the possibilities they hold for understanding the mysteries of our existence. It's time to jump fully into the topic of multiverses and unlock the secrets of the cosmos. And remember, don't leave your luck to chance. Hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more mind-expanding explorations of the universe. Dark energy is a mysterious force that holds a significant presence in our universe, so much so that it's currently overpowering gravity on a massive scale and driving the expansion of the cosmos. Now, here's where things get interesting. The density of this dark energy is just right. It's like Goldilocks found the perfect bowl of porridge, except in this case, it's the density of dark energy tied to something called the cosmological constant. If this density was significantly higher or lower, our universe would be in big trouble. Picture this, too high and dark energy would tear the universe apart in a cosmic frenzy. Too low and gravity would win the tug of war, collapsing the universe into a singular point long before life had a chance to flourish. Now here's the kicker. According to our quantum models, the density of dark energy should actually be much higher than it is. Like way higher. We're talking somewhere between 10 to the power of 56 and 10 to the power of 120 times higher. That's not just a little off. It's like aiming for the bullseye and hitting the moon. This discrepancy has earned the title of the worst theoretical prediction in the history of physics. But hold on a minute. Before you lose faith in quantum physics altogether, remember that it's got a pretty stellar track record. From mind-bending experiments like the double-slit experiment to the mind-blowing Bell inequality test, quantum physics has a knack for making accurate predictions about some of the strangest phenomena in our universe. Ah, the age-old question, how do we make sense of this cosmic conundrum? Well, some folks lean towards the idea of intelligent design, a divine hand at play, carefully setting the stage for life as we know it. It's like believing that someone's been tinkering with the cosmic dials to make sure everything lines up just right for us to exist. But hold your horses, this notion doesn't sit well with everyone. The existence of a godlike entity is, by its very nature, a tricky thing to pin down. And when it comes to matters of faith, science tends to take a different route. Enter the multiverse theory. Back in 1987, physicist Steven Weinberg proposed a fascinating idea. He suggested that our universe's incredibly low dark energy density might be connected to something called the anthropic principle. Essentially, it boils down to this. The only universes we can really evaluate are the ones that happen to give rise to us. It's like playing a cosmic game of chance. If the universe didn't roll the dice in just the right way, we wouldn't be here to contemplate the odds. So, if creating humans is like pulling off a once-in-a-lifetime miracle, then the universe where that miracle actually happened is the one we're living in. 
Weinberg wasn't just shooting in the dark with his theories. He had some pretty precise calculations up his sleeve. He figured that for life to emerge, the dark energy density had to be at least as low as what's needed to form galaxies. After all, without those swirling masses of stars and cosmic dust, where would life even begin? Using data from observations of a super-ancient quasar, Weinberg crunched the numbers. He calculated that the formation of galaxies in the early universe required a dark energy density of less than about 10 to the power of minus 7 joule per cubic meter. Now here's where things get interesting. Weinberg's calculations hinted that if the dark energy density dipped significantly below this threshold, we'd need more than just the anthropic principle to explain it. It'd be like stumbling upon a cosmic mystery that couldn't be chalked up to chance alone. But lo and behold, as our cosmic knowledge expanded, we found that the real dark energy density hovers closer to 10 to the power of minus 9 joule per cubic meter, not too far off from Weinberg's calculated threshold. In essence, life and dark energy density seem to go hand in hand, painting a fascinating picture of our universe's finely tuned intricacies. You're absolutely right to question whether our existence in a universe with the observed cosmological constant is a guaranteed outcome. The odds of it lining up just right for life to flourish are staggeringly slim. It's like trying to hit a bullseye blindfolded, but with a target so tiny, it's practically microscopic. Imagine tossing three random numbers between minus one and one into the mix and hoping their sum lands somewhere between negative zilch and a hair's breadth above zero. It's a needle in a haystack scenario, to put it mildly. But what if we had endless attempts, infinite rolls of the cosmic dice? Given enough chances, even the most improbable outcomes become inevitable. That's where the concept of a multiverse comes into play. Picture an endless expanse of universes, each with its own set of cosmic variables, including the dark energy density. Only a fraction of these universes would boast the just right conditions for life. But hey, that's exactly where we'd find ourselves, right smack in the middle of one of those rare, life-friendly universes. Before you dismiss the idea of a multiverse as mere science fiction, let's pause for a moment. Did you know that real scientific models exist exploring the concept of multiverses? That's right. These models delve into how multiple universes could coexist, offering intriguing insights into their potential existence and appearance. So, while it may seem like something out of a sci-fi novel, the multiverse hypothesis is grounded in real science. It's a fascinating concept that challenges our understanding of the universe and opens doors to endless possibilities. Curious to learn more? Don't miss out on future videos exploring the mysteries of space and the mind-bending concept of the multiverse. Hit that subscribe button.